I'm going to use right, that thing. <laughs> Hello. Hello out there. Are there people streaming? Uh, we lost everybody. There's one person. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, right about how many pieces go on each one of those, you think? Separate pieces? Separate pieces? Do you have a count? No, oh. I never have. <laughs> I don't know. No, it doesn't. But, you know. No, I don't measure, I don't count. Sometimes I count stairs, steps on stairs. That's kind of OCD, isn't it? Uh huh. I know, but it's just a little. That's my one OCD thing. I think a lot of people do that, though. Count stairs. Yeah. Do you? How interesting. It's hard. It's hard to quit. Really? Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's funny. Stairs have been my major thing. But but then if somebody said, okay, how many steps were there? Go, I don't know. I don't remember it. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, hide and watch. No, <laughs> no. Okay, so. Now. We'll go somewhere else with this. So about, I'll work faster now. What? How about how far along are we? Like, you don't you need to have a plan? This will be the last layer. Oh, okay. So it'll be like that. Yeah, they'll they'll come up a little bit. Not a lot. Th this these pieces will now go here. And um, and then I'll probably put something in here and then put the last layer of of the of these these things on. Do you? Yeah. It won't change much, really. Uh huh. It is. It is. Yeah. And some of that moved in the in the firing. Yeah, I've had that happen. Where it moves. So your uh, base plate pieces that are they look like they're thrown at the bottom, and then they have a section in the middle. Yeah. And then the and the, the spout. The spout. Mm -hmm. Is there kind of the middle part of that? Yeah. The the dome part. I do like this. Yeah. Except that I smooth it from the inside because you'll never see the inside. So, yeah. And so they actually could hold water generally. So theoretically, it's one two, three to the mm -hmm. I'm not following you. Say that again. Okay. Mm -hmm. It would still be functional. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I have never just, just done these textures to... Well, I've not done them to just attach them. It's always building up. It's always, yeah. 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 You could do that. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. No, I don't like that. Do I? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know either. What are you doing over here? Okay. Okay. <laughs> what are you doing in my space? <laughs> right? So these are not going to add that much height to this. I'm just going to make it so I can put the, wait a minute, I'll show you. I need to speak up, don't I? They're going to make it so I can put a relatively level top on it. Mm -hmm. One of the things that Jan Allen did at um, Enseca was that she had her slip thin in a, a squeeze bottle. That was really good. But it requires too much discipline if you keep the cap putting the cap back on. Yeah. Uh, right. True. Yeah. No, not so much discipline, huh? I just want to, I need it to be. Robust. Yeah. Negligent, negligent proof. Negligent proof. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you just leave it out. Yeah. And walk away and come back and it still works. Right. You there you go. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I tried it and it worked great for the day or two there. That you, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, the first time I did it, I was like, I'm going to do it this way all the time. Yeah. <laughs> this is great. And, and then, then you realized. Later, I'm not going to take the five minutes to take the unplug it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can put it in a blender. I did. I made it totally it's, the it's, it's, it's the tip. It's the tip that. Right, so yeah. Tap it right away. Yeah. Hers was like this. But depends on how. Long you want it to kind last. Like, kind of like halfway to the ketchup bottle and the needle one. And a mustard bottle. Yeah. <laughs> or no, it wasn't as big as a mustard but bottle. But like a ketchup bottle is way too big. It just comes out too fast. Yeah. So I thought I just squirt it on and then put it in. Yeah. Yeah. What's more, besides how far up, it's not a big Yeah. 
Yeah. So then you have to cap it, don't you, then? Yeah. At the end of the day, you cap them off? You can get in cars? You know, actually, I think you know what you so it's kind of part of the deal. If you want it, don't go on. Yeah. It's riveting stuff. It's riveting stuff. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 No, Jeff got my. This is this is my happy one. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like it. So you do restaurant and clay? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, so your voice is going out to the world. All about food safety. <laughs> well, I'm glad, yeah, then, you know, if anybody wants a, a real world example of like an occasional speaker, I'll put this video on there. That That's right. I not only practice food safety in the restaurant, but I bring them out to the field too. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So how many of these do you work on like a few or if I were in my studio? Yeah. I'd probably I used to work on three at a time. And that would give me a little more time for the for it to dry and um you know be more stable as it work as it goes up. And how long would that take you to finish three? Oh uh, the universal day. question. Yeah. No, I would it would take me two or three days. Okay. And I never I'm never in my studio all day, yeah. you know. So it is. This oh, is the Reader's Digest version. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cute little thing. Huh? What were you? Okay. Yeah. Oh, I could do one down there too. <laughs> Oops. Something needs to go away from it too. <coughs> you know, no, I haven't. I haven't. I might someday. I can't say. Thank you. I like those two. I, I think this is a different piece than if it just sat flat on the table, you know? Gives it lift. Yeah. I don't generally glaze these. But um, John has recorded this morning my slide talk, but my website is elainehenry.com. So what do you think? Cone usually. Although right now I'm, I'm thinking of, I don't fill the kiln that often, so I'm thinking of cone six. Yeah. No, that's just reduction fired. It's a, a, a carbon trapping glaze. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, it's a, a Malcolm Davis Shino. It's a carbon trap. He was a wonderful man. Did you know Malcolm? He was, yeah. Yeah, he was so cute. He, one time, I, when I was president of Enseca, he came up to me after like the opening or something. And he said, when I saw you on that jumbotron, I fell in love with you. Oh. It was so cute. <laughs> it was so cute. <laughs> Which made me fall in love with him a little bit, you know. He was really a nice man. <laughs> I love making them. <laughs> They're so much fun. Yeah. Thank you. That comes. Huh? I didn't. Oh. Yeah, it fits in that bag. Mm -hmm. That's so cool. I thought I saw it. I was like looking at the shape of the feet on that. Yeah. That. That's really cool. 
Yeah. 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 Oh, you think so? That's funny. I love doing those. I have a little stash of leather in my studio. I, I do too, and then I don't know what to do with them. I know, but then if you put it in there, then it you can't have it out, you know? Yeah. I save them all, too. I've got this little stack of boxes. Um, yeah. I have them kind of stacked up in my studio. But I love them. And it was it was really the Ashmolean one. I went to that Ashmolean Museum in England that, that started me on it. But then I, I, I thought, oh my gosh, it's it's China, you know. So this will be the uh, Yeah. Yeah. This will be the last. These will be the last two pieces that will go on. That's a part of a nesting bowl set, but I just brought the one. That one is. Yeah, it's a beautiful glade. I, I did a, the top? Did like, Do you? I I did. Well, that's just too bad. I, I just, um, huh? The fat one. This one? Oh. Hmm. Well, I'd better throw some clay at it, maybe. <laughs> Whoops. <that one. laughs> Pardon? No, they're all in the museum in um, in Pomona. Is there a portion that her bottom is blown? Is there for you personally? Well, um, on on the pictures, the big pictures that I do, those are coil. Oh, okay. So, um, and and I was saying earlier that I'm I'm thinking that I will maybe do more hand building when I go home and coil, make some more. I don't know of what, but um, yeah, I. I like the hand building process too. Yeah. But you know, because some people it's important, the throwing important, regardless of whether Oops. it's just important that some parts are thrown. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't necessarily feel that way. I like the wheel, but I don't feel, um, like I said earlier, it's just a tool to me. Uh huh. Um, probably not. I have some slump molds that I can do this bottom with. I mean, yeah, just slump. Um, but the, I don't know, the shape might change. The form, I guess. Shape is two-dimensional. Form is three-dimensional. 
Um, so the form might change. I think I'm kind of done with this form. You know, I, I'm over it. But I, I don't know. I may go back to it someday. Who knows? Who knows? Do you have a plan of anything that's so interesting for you? No. I, not, nothing, you know, designated that I think I'll do that for six months or whatever. I don't. No, even unconsciously. Unconsciously? I don't know. This high tide's higher, isn't it? <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. Yeah, that's right. It will. Yeah. It was wheel thrown and then altered. Yeah. Oh. Do I want that there? Yeah. Oh. I did. I did. I can. And see, this one has one on this side. Wet it and flung it. <laughs> I really like, though, to have something like that up on top, too, so. Yeah, and, and it usually that, I mean, it is kind of a little about the gesture and the, the happenstance of it for me, but I also um, like that I can say, okay, that, that, that area needs something, you know, and, um, and just do this. So sometimes I texture these, sometimes I don't. But I, oh, that's nice. And then I, I do it sometimes inside. This one? Yeah. I mean, it really, it's fun. And I could take it off if I didn't like it, you know. But I'm going to set this aside. And then I want to uh, trim another bowl, and then I'll show you faceting, OK? I guess I can just leave that there. You what? Oh, yeah. You want to put it on here? Or you want to leave it? I can leave it here. That's fine. Thank you, though, Gay. I love that thing. <laughs> you can go on YouTube and hear my brilliant talk this morning. Just all this wisdom. Pardon? Thank you. It's a great collection of brushes. <laughs> No, it's on OPA, the OPA channel. Uh, I don't Okay, now I'm not going to trim a lot off of this. And then I'm just going to mark about where I want the foot.
I do eight of these, four feet, so I can take every other one out. I've done more different. It's, um, yeah, usually. Yeah. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. No. Okay, I don't like that. So yellow is four. It's four, and then I can do eight. Okay. Oh. That was Catherine's Yeah. And then it has to be. You know, you know, the, like the most iconic pathway that I know probably is not a be Christian. Christian is Okay, I was close. I ride. I ride. Oh, for the top? How cute. I've never seen one of those. Yeah, they're really pretty neat. So is this going to be the red one then? Um, no. Yeah. You have to oh, yeah. Um, no, the ace or the turquoise. The green. The green. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So let me do this first, though. So. Why am I so confused? I can, I can never again say I don't measure anything, right? <laughs> okay. Those are great. Uh, where are these from? Oh, are they? Yeah. I have their, these. Yeah, they're these. Yeah, yeah. It's really dry. One of these? No, these. I was going to say. What do you have against this tool then? Oh. No. 
when it turned into a little bit of capacitor. Yeah. 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 They're brittle. Oh, it's I just do this roughly at first, just to get them kind of identified. But I like this because I can turn it on its side to um, do that bottom or And I'll go back and make sure those get done the way they're supposed to. And sometimes I do this and then distort it. But um, often these are drier, so they can't be really flattened after I have done this. And I never fast it once I flattened it, so. Yes, I do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did you hear that, John? She was asking if I just rasp or if I marked all eight and then I'm rasping all eight, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It kind of goes from sort of straight at the top and then to concave because I don't completely concave this because it's round. So it kind of transitions. Yeah, some of them I do that. It would take a lot longer for me to do 16 up here than, <laughs> than eight, so. <laughs> yeah. The ones I really want. The what? If you don't get one, if it's round, if it's round, it's big. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Faceted like this, you mean? Yeah. Uh huh. I mean, I might have learned it from you. Maybe so. Yeah, it could be. We don't see a lot of faceting, you know, in our world. Especially like. You're doing slip cast, but. Especially like this, because it's, it's so slow. That's yeah. Kind of the opposite of the production. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I'm um, paying attention to my thick. She asked what I was paying attention to. What I'm being careful about. I'm be careful, being careful to stay through, stay between my markings, so that my facets are relatively straight. I'm being careful about. This line where I marked, where I mark, that might have a centered foot. Um, that's why I mark that ahead of time so I don't go, you know, I don't end up with that all. Yeah. As Margaret Thatcher said, all wobbly. Uh, <laughs> huh? No, she wasn't a potter. She just. She just said to uh, George Bush when he w when the Kuwait War started, and he called her for some advice, and she said, "George, this is no time to go wobbly." <laughs> <laughs> the Iron Lady of yeah of Great Britain. She was something else. So, have you watched The Crown? Any of you? Yeah. I quit when they started being mean to Diana. I didn't like the way they treated her. Um, you know, they didn't have to show her throwing up every five seconds. But um, 
Huh? That's not right. No, I thought it, they, you know, they could have done it a couple times and gotten their point across. Yeah. But um, so there's a point in the crown where you know that uh, Lord Porchester was the one who managed the queen's livery and she loved horses. And um, she called him Porchy. And there's a scene in one of the Crown episodes where he's sitting with a, a woman at a um, table in a restaurant and he proposes to her. She grew up on the ranch that we face between us and the mountains in Bighorn, Wyoming. She was, uh, Jeannie Wallop was her name. And uh, Bighorn is the first place in the United States or in at least the Western United States, let's say west of the Mississippi, to have professional polo. So we, every, every May, our, our um, population changes and people come in from Argentina and all over South America, as well as the Florida and Texas polo population. And there's free professional polo in, in Bighorn every summer. But the queen actually visited Bighorn years ago and um she this town that i live in is 490 people and we have a post we have a mercantile that used to be the post office as well and she went in and she knighted our little postmaster oh, which was really funny um <laughs> yeah good old queen wyoming yeah pardon yeah, it stays pretty nice. No. Um, and so then Lord Porchester and his, and Lady Porchester, the one from Bighorn, owned High Clare Castle, which is where Downton Abbey was filmed. And uh, they were about to lose it, from what I understand. And that's, and then uh, doing. Um, Downton Abbey there saved the castle for them. Yeah. yeah. So now their, um, their son, they had one son, and he and his wife live in the castle. They have both since passed away. And uh, they live in the castle and give tours, and it saved, saved the castle, kept it in the family, which is really nice. Yeah, yeah the Porchesters. So Porchy brought her. But the night, of, for those of you who watched it, the night that they ran that episode of him proposing to Jeannie Wallop was, uh, you know, she said, first that when, when he asked her to marry her, him, she said, will the queen be in this marriage? Because <laughs> there was always speculation, although they were cousins, that there was something going on between them. And he said, no, that she wouldn't. So Jeannie must have, Jeannie's not featured in any other part of the program. But we used to, my husband knew her because he grew up right there. And we used to see her in the post office when she'd come in the summer. But anyway, that's our claim to fame in Big Horn, Wyoming. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. I I no I'm I'm not I'm scoring but I'm actually just scraping down the uneven parts. And um then I'll go over it with the smooth rib and then a sponge. Yeah. Yeah. I just avoided it. Yeah, I just didn't go that deep up there. Yeah. 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 And I'm and I'm not that way, really, but but uh, I like to think I am. <laughs>
got this, this really thin right there. Just to take the high spots down. I don't always, but this one seemed a little bumpy. Yeah. Now I don't often um, do this much with this. I usually cut these out. In fact, I think I'll do that. Um, I cut them out before I do too much. Where should I put this? Okay. Maybe we can just set it over here. Huh? Will you keep an eye on it? You'll, you'll watch it. Pardon? Um, so now I will. Is this going to move you again? I'll trim it. Yeah. Then I can always just refine it um, after that. I, we have an Airbnb in my studio, and I've had a couple of people want to pay me to do a lesson. So I've done that, but I don't. Okay. Okay, good. Yeah. To the Airbnb, huh? Oh, to my studio, my house. Yeah. It is beautiful. I mean, my husband grew up there, but it was a working ranch. And if he were here, he could tell you some stories that are just amazing. Um you could come and hear them. Yeah, yeah. We have we have a queen size upstairs, and then there's a full size futon on the main floor. So, we, although we've had we've had um, people in my work area put down air mattresses or different places, you know. So we've got we don't take children and we don't take pets. But, yeah, been near Sheridan. Yeah, it is beautiful, isn't it? And my husband, my hu we have three and a half acres, and he keeps it all green. It's so beautiful. Yeah, we get probably 45 inches of moisture a year. And um, not all of that is snow. Yeah. But it comes and goes. Like yesterday, I think it was 55 degrees there. So it wasn't any colder than here. But then Sunday, he woke up to two or three inches of snow. And then the next day, it's gone. So, um, it can get really cold. And when it's really cold, it doesn't snow. I mean, we all get six or eight inches. But then it does, it'll be gone in a week. Does it blow? Yes, it does. We get the Chinook winds off of the mountains, and then they're warm winds, and that's what changes the temperature to the warm temperature. But um, the the downside of that is that um, we don't we can't plant until Memorial Day mm -hmm. because of the potential for frost. So it's really hard to even get a tomato plant to mm -hmm. to. Um, to give tomatoes, you know? So. It was a cattle and sheep ranch. And, um, yeah, my husband's family had homesteaded there in the 1890s. No. No pets, no plants. We have plants on our place, obviously, garden, but. Um, I'm allergic to pets, so whoops. Keep the lawn down, huh? Yeah, we hay one little portion out in front. It's three and a half acres, so it's not that big. And we have a live creek that goes through it. It's just beautiful. 
and a little pond that we built. It's nice. Uh huh. Oh. Yeah. My husband uses a. My husband uses a sixty-inch um, John Deere Nero steer. Perfect. Yeah. Aren't yeah. Yeah. Ours is 60, it's not quite 80, but. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah. I've been doing it since I was like 10 years old. Whenever anybody passes by the road, everybody's like, you can see their heads falling. Oh, funny. You don't see a girl on a big factory too often. No. One of my favorite stories of my husband's is they had hired hands to, um, they grew potatoes, and they had hired hands to dig the potatoes and sack the potatoes, but they didn't want to have to spend money to, to hire somebody to drive the truck through the field. So he had um, three brothers, and they would take turns driving the truck from the time they were three years old. So they'd be three and five, and they would be, one would be standing on the seat steering, and the other one would be on the floor operating the pedal. And my husband liked being on the floor because he, at that time you could see the ground move but, you know, under the, the little the pedal. So he liked to be down there watching the ground. Yeah. And then he learned to fly an airplane because, real young because they, they would. Uh, put the sheep and cattle in the mountains for the summer or you know over yeah over the summer and um, so they would have to fly up and check the herds and the flocks up there huh yeah well that was Wyoming there's a, an artist residency near us called U Cross. And that's where Annie Prue wrote Brokeback Mountain. It's, it was actually a short story. Did you? Yeah, I liked the movie. I didn't see the. I happened to be in Australia when I and I took this DVD with me. And that day, um, Keith Keith Ledger died. Yeah. So I watched the movie there. Now I've got a little bit of an uneven foot, so I'm going to um, take a little more off where I'm not within that area. Do you need to shift it down? I'm going back over there. Sorry, John. Hmm? I see, that's great. Right. Always make, like, you're always supposed to, uh, have, my job is like to make sure you can do your staff. There you so go. If you want to work at the wheel, then you should work at the wheel. Work at the wheel, huh? Yeah. If you want to work at the table, then you should do the Yeah, there you go. Thanks for that, John. <laughs> okay, now this time I have, um, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm still going to have four feet, but I'm, I'm just going to cut on each line here. Oh. If I turn this this way to cut this way, I have I have one at home that curves a little and it went right into the bowl. So I've learned not to do that. <laughs> yeah. 
Right. Just going right on the ridges. I'm going on the eight ridges, yeah. And then I'll cut them out like this. Just like I did before. Yeah, it is. This is a little wide, so I end up cutting into the feet next to it that I'll have to repair a little bit. See how easy it is? <laughs> Yeah, there you go. And then I like to um, do this again, just to take that ridge out of there. And this is another place where this narrow part really helps. Even with these Thick feet. I'll, after I'm done here, I'll let you hold this bowl because it's really lightweight. For as fat as those feet are. And now would be when I normally stamp the bottom. But, um, you can feel how light it is. So as bad as those feet are. I mean, there's a lot of cleanup. This isn't like throwing and trimming a bowl and glazing them, you know. We're passing a bowl around now, John. <laughs> I have, yeah. Sometimes I, because I like, I like the texture that the sure form leaves. I do have the tube thing. Yeah, I do. Not on this, but I used to at the smaller end. But I found, for some reason, I find that those clog it really easily. So this is a lot easier to clean. Yeah, this is mud tools. Yeah. I have one for iron clay and one for porcelain. So you need to get two, John. Yeah. I asked about these. Yeah. Says diamond core right on it. Yeah. <laughs> Duh. It is very small, yeah. I mean, the feet are going to make it a little heavier, you know, but. Thank you. It is amazing. It is for the thickness of the feet, you know. Yeah. Yeah.
Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm just cutting these feet up so that there's a nice form in there like that. And um, then I'll just smooth it out to whatever degree. <laughs> I really like the metal ribs for this. Yeah. Those do well with textures, but you can get <laughs> yes, this is the shape that each of the 50 bowls. Um, some of they vary a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, they're all thrown, so without the other ones in front of me. So it was about, I would measure the clay, but some of them are a little more round, like the little one in there, and they vary in that way. But in general, it was exactly the same porcelain. It was uh, Continental Clay's uh, Grolig body. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think Grolig is English. Yeah, some of them call it English. Yeah, but I mean, the name of their porcelain is Grolig porcelain. It's a Minnesota company. And it's a nice clay to throw. Yeah, no, the, the Grolic, yeah, the English. Mm -hmm. I don't. Oh. Mm-hmm.
there's sometimes I, I kind of trim this to a little point. And I had one friend come to a show locally where I live, and she said, my husband needs to see that. <laughs> it's quite sensual. <laughs> And this, this form actually comes from my love of the ionic column and the fluting on an ionic column. I just am really drawn to that. And the faceting comes from that. And when I was in, in school, I actually would make columns and then just gradually got away from that, thinking I just can't be that derivative. And um, started doing versions of it, you know. Want to make it, yeah. 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 But you'll bring your, I mean, even if you made a bowl kind of like this, the next one would be different. And yeah, and you, it would evolve into your own voice. Yeah, exactly. Oh, you don't want. Yeah. Like this? Yeah, but they're bent like that. Yeah, yeah. I've come back on some. Think on my. I don't even have. What's that? Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Wow. So when Richard and I got married, I said, I don't want a wedding ring. I don't want to change my name. And I said, I want tools, not jewels. So, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. So one Christmas, he bought me a welding helmet that goes dark. You know, yeah, 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 the people, men at the store wouldn't believe it was for his wife. So funny. 
Yeah. Well, the reason I didn't want a wedding ring was that um, I had been single and working for this architectural engineering firm that was flying me places. And I, when I would fly with a wedding ring on, people would treat me differently than if I didn't have a wedding ring on. It's just, they assume, okay, you're just somebody's wife. But when I was traveling by myself with no ring, they thought, oh, a businesswoman. <laughs> it really made a difference. So neither one of us has, has a wedding ring. I wouldn't mind one now, but I don't, I don't know. Of a ring? Yeah. 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 Huh. Yeah. So you need tools, not jewels. You can. Yeah. Well, you can quote me. You can quote me. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just about done here for today. If that's okay, we're good. I'll just work on this a little bit more. Pardon? I have to tell them about their homework. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, your homework is to bring in five to ten pictures that give you aesthetic ecstasy. No porn. <laughs> <laughs> huh right right <laughs> I said tomorrow you bring in between five and ten pictures images you can cut them out of a magazine get them online and, and print them whatever that give you that gut feeling okay artwork artwork yeah it could be anything that it could be natural material it could be, um, yeah, that's not going to give you as much information as a piece of artwork, but it could be a Corvette. That's a good one, isn't it? it? I can't take credit for it. It's my philosophy of art professor in grad school. Not really. And then one piece that you've done that you're happy with or as happy as you can be with it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, are you never happy with them? Is that what she's is that what she's saying? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Just because it's fired doesn't mean it's done. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Seven's the magic number. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, well, it was really strange to be here in Sculpture Blade, and it just, the clay started delaminating. Like, it started breaking wow. off in layers parallel to the surface. And you could actually, you know, like plywood is like, it, it started looking like that. It was, but big chunks were flaking <laughs> off. And then someone bought it and put it in the sale. Like, this was it. And it was sculptural kind of thing. Yeah. It, it sure. wasn't really a, I mean, it was a pot like kind of what you're doing as far as like, yeah. You threw it originally, but paddled it, shaped it, <laughs> carved it. Yeah. It wasn't really necessarily a functional thing. And it started to be wet. So a big patch of wheels for the clay to laminate it. Very interesting. Kind of like the way iron, like rust falls off and kind of seeps. Yeah. Kind of like it yeah. Or, or, or um, mica. Yeah, like that. And so it, it looks good. But I told them you can't do it. You can't expect us to try everything seven times. No. <laughs> True. Ecstasy. Yes. Aesthetic ecstasy.
So I believe that you can watch her um, and talk from this morning. And I'm sure they're going to yeah. do the same. Yeah, and I got um, Ricky plugging for me as well. So I do that. Oh. Luckily, it's nice. I can actually do that. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I at home I would do some more refining, but that's pretty much done. Kind of wet. It was fired in a wood kiln upside down, so the 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 ash and the glaze dripped. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think the it was the shell was the wadding. Okay. Yeah. Uh huh. Because it's calcium. Uh, yeah. What would it be? Carbonate. Car calcium carbonate. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, it's um, no. There's a shell in there. Yeah. Yeah. And then, and then, and then there'd be a pot on top of it, probably. Or inside. Or under it. I mean. Yeah. The shell has rotting inside the shell. Right. And then it's probably sitting on another pot or a post. And this looks like the the, some of the shell is still in there. So it could have been like that. Yeah, it could have been. Okay, any other questions? We'll get busy again tomorrow. Thank you. Yeah, it might be a little bit wet, but it's kind of wet because I went over it with the sponge.